And if we look at the national map from NOAA, guys, you can very clearly see this cyclonic rotation. Look at that. But the winds are very strong there. South of this, and let me pull it down, you've got clear weather in Texas, guys, but the winds are incredibly high. But, but now, let's move east from the top. This is where your colder areas, this is where your blizzard conditions are going to be there and south of here in Colorado through this area, guys, coming out. But uh, also, this weather pattern or this weather band here that's about to cross us uh, probably between midnight and uh, 1 a.m., guys, in central Mississippi tonight, pay attention to these red areas. Watch for severe thunderstorms and watch for tornado warnings. This is out of ahead of what they're calling the, this bomb of Genesis or storm of the century. And if we move all the way to the east coast, you can see the effects here. Colder air out ahead of this. So anywhere that is below freezing, you're going to already start accumulating uh, snow and freezing rain. Now, if we, we move down through the southeast and into Florida, guys, you can see why so many people live in Florida and only regret it during hurricane season. But uh, the weather's beautiful there. It's warm. It's warm today here. And um, if I have time tonight, I'm going to put up videos. You're looking uh, at this weather system moving very close to Eagle Lake, Mississippi. For you guys that are familiar with the area, whether you're in Arkansas, Louisiana, or Mississippi, it's you're about uh, 30, 45 minutes north of Vicksburg up on the Knoxville Lake. And it's uh, the Mississippi River um, if for you guys that are not in the area, is rising to record levels. And you look at how much rain is still coming in now. But we had to drive up to Eagle Lake today to help a family member with a camper. It had to be moved because that section of uh, the lake uh, was going, the banks of the lake were going underwater. The Mississippi River is rising very rapidly on the other side of the levee from the lake. The river rise in the backwater is probably in some places 20 feet above the Eagle Lake uh, level because of where it's at. But they've had to shut some uh, bayou or uh, dams like at Steely Bayou and things like that. And the water is unbelievably wide. Where we moved the camper today, they said yesterday the Mississippi River was three miles from there. Today, we pulled it out with a tractor, and it was a foot deep in water when we had to get in there and pull this thing out. But uh, that's how fast and how deep and the situation is. And with this rain band, for all you folks along the river, this is up in Sharkey and uh, Issaquina County area, all through there, this is not going to get better. It was not supposed to peak until Saturday. Now, you've got this on top of it. And this is uh, the Father of Waters, Mississippi, their Indian name, the Father of Waters. It's unbelievable. If, if I don't have time to do the full video tonight, I'll try to go to our website at BP Headline News, and I'll throw some of the images up there. But uh, I want to show you one other thing. Now, this is um, our secondary site, BP Headline News. Many of you have seen it already. And uh, the in the comment section here, uh, as soon as this video gets up, I will start uploading some images for you guys that uh, are amazing. There were thousands of deer stranded in on islands and on the levees and things like that. We saw quite a number of those, but to drive down uh, up 61, and you couldn't go into the south entrance of Eagle Lake. You had to go altogether about 80 miles out of the way to go up into the north section of the lake and come back down on the levee road. Quite, uh, We've got some good videos of that. But if you look at the links in the left, just come down to this section, the second section, and go to Venture Sky. Click there. That's going to bring you here again, Venture Sky. And there's this is a great program, guys. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of information, and you can learn a lot from it also. But if you come down, you've got temperature, uh, precipitation, radar clouds, wind speed, wind gust. You can see the center of circulation of this cyclone. And uh, if you look at the color code over in this bottom right corner, you start out in the graves with low wind as you get up into your reds and pinks. You get up into even higher speeds. 
and uh, you can see you're getting in some areas still 55 61 69 75 guys that's category one hurricane speed if you come down coming west or the west winds coming out of texas being pulled up into the circulation you got very high winds here look at this 52 59 72 think about that and you've got these uh, areas of this wind uh increasing now think about 100 mile per hour winds cat two to cat three hurricane wind speeds and especially when you're bumping 109 like we saw in uh grand prairie texas the light lines and power lines and things like that are not going to do well and it's going to be interesting if for any of you guys that have ever traveled say from dallas over into new mexico through the central part of the state and then and uh say up, up to roswell it looks like millions of uh, windmills i know it's thousands but it looks like millions and it, when they're not really designed for 100 mile per hour gusts so you you not only could see some damage there but just from the in, other infrastructure as far as the uh, wires uh, on the poles and things like that guys and also going back to our website bpheadlinenews.com i want to mention our sponsor my patriot supply and uh, guys we get prices because we've been with them for over six years now that nobody gets that's i guess that's what they give you for being loyal to the company and we really appreciate it because it's really helped us out but uh, for example and uh, i'll keep this brief but a four-week supply they've got fifty dollars off of a four-week emergency food supply now notice and uh, let me pull this up it's uh, again 50 bucks off but it comes in a plastic tote guys it keeps it sealed but the all the ingredients are in military grade mylar packages with a 20-year shelf life whether you need it for a hurricane or a blizzard you can't get out or down the road but four weeks at 197 you're at about 50 bucks a week guys for a lot of food think about that and you can grab this tote throw it in the back of your vehicle and be out of there if you need to be but just click here and that's going to take you here again our number one sponsor guys that have they've been a lifesaver forever and there are hundreds of thousands if not more people that have uh, shot with these guys for a long time and are prepared but notice just across the top survival food heirloom seeds guys this is spring these are non-genetically modified seeds, original seeds, and they are not any more expensive than regular seeds. So come there and check that out. Water filters or water filtration, air purification, survival essentials, uh, essentials, prep, blowout, deal of the day. Come here and check it out. But I want to show you on the long-term food storage. And you just scroll down your page. Again, this is if you're planning ahead, if you can plan a this far ahead you save a lot of money for instance here you've got 130 bucks off of a three month supply so you start dividing 90 days into 2,000 calories a day which will keep you very healthy and uh, you see at 590 or say 600 dollars the savings go up now one of the more popular ones that people are getting is the six month supply right now it's 500 dollars think of that through our website five hundred dollars off of a six month supply or that would be a three month supply for two people or you can do the math but you've got it comes in all again the larger plastic totes you've got drinks just come here and click on it guys you can go through the different meals the ingredients how to prepare it and if you want to go even longer the one year supply you're looking at uh seven hundred and ten dollars off that and again they've got many different specials guys but number one sponsors this is the best uh survival supply website there is number one by far again this is where we have our alexa pro water filters and things like that all of that's in this section here but again guys remember in the comment section in the center just below the block talk radio player and you can go there and look at the archives of the show from last night and last week but in this comment section, you're going to start seeing a lot of weather updates. You're going to see some uh, images coming from the father of waters, the Mississippi River, at record flood levels up in the Delta. 
It's amazing to drive on a levee as far as we did for over an hour and be completely surrounded with water as far as you could see. But guys, we're watching it. You watch it. It's a heads up. Be safe.